also visited the site. French, official, French officials rather say that the fast-moving fire swept through a birthday party in the basement of the bar, killing at least 13 people and injuring six others. More than 80 firefighters battled the flames. The cause of the fire is not yet clear, but authorities say an early police investigation indicates that it was completely accidental. And in commitment 2016, a roller coaster week in the race for the White House, ending with new questions about both candidates and their honesty. In a rare move, Donald Trump backtracked, saying never actually saw Americans delivering a ransom payment to Iran, that it was actually the hostage plane arriving in Switzerland. And in Wisconsin, the Republican nominee endorsed House Speaker Paul Ryan and Senator John McCain after saying that he wouldn't. Paul Ryan, good. He's a good man. He's a good man and he's a good guy. And we may disagree on a couple of things, but mostly we agree and we're going to get it done and we're going to do a lot of wonderful things. He's a good man. And Paul Ryan had said that he would cancel his endorsement of Trump if Trump crossed a line. Well, Hillary Clinton's lead in the polls expanded, but in Washington, she continued to face questions about a controversy she hasn't been able to shake. Yesterday, telling reporters that she's been truthful to the FBI about her private email server, and she said this about voters who still don't trust her. It doesn't make me feel good when people say those things, and I recognize that uh, I have work to do. Well, despite some voter distrust, former CIA director Michael Morrell endorsed Hillary Clinton, calling Trump a threat to national security. Morrell is an independent and said he's never before made his preference in a race public. And we have some sad news to report this morning. Legendary musician Pete Fountain has died. His recording of Just a Closer Walk with Thee became the unofficial anthem for traditional New Orleans jazz. Fountain was known through his appearances on the Lawrence Welk and the Johnny Carson shows. His manager said he died this morning of heart failure. Pete Fountain was 86 years old. Well, still ahead this morning, a little girl's life saved by strangers. Hear her incredible story and how you can help out, too. Also ahead, getting ready to head back to school, we'll go live to Yellow County, where volunteers are helping kids in a very special way. But first, we've got a live look from Rayleigh Field on this beautiful Saturday morning. Stay with us. Welcome back. Happening now, back to school time is right around the corner. And for many families, that means the added expense of backpacks, school clothes, and other supplies. Well, this morning, the Salvation Army is making that a little easier for families in Yolo County. Guy Hawk, a major with the Salvation Army, joins us now live from Woodland with the details. And Guy, it's hard to get kids out of bed on a Saturday morning, but I would imagine a shopping spree will do it. It will do it. And good morning, Kristen. Good morning. Thank Tell me about this event. This well, it is our back to school shopping spree. There's going to be about 75 kids that have the opportunity from uh, kindergarten to high school to uh, come shop. $100 worth of clothing that they can pick up and then they come out, and get a backpack, school supplies. They also have the opportunity to get their hearing check, a haircut, and a breakfast here this morning. Wow, a regular back to school uh, get ready checkup. It, it looks like they're sitting down at tables behind you. Are they, is there breakfast going on right now? Yes, they're having breakfast right now and getting ready to go on into the store with a volunteer and uh, do some shopping. So tell me about uh, these kids and, and how you choose them, where they come from. They come from the school district and um, they've been selected by the need. So uh, these are kids that are in need of these types of uh, supplies and clothing and uh, they are able to come down. They'll go into the store with a volunteer and shop for the, some clothes that they would like and feel good in and then uh, pick up their school supplies and their backpacks. Uh, now I, I know this takes a lot of volunteers and I would imagine a lot of people within the community to help out. Tell me who all is involved in, in putting on this big event. Well, uh, the Salvation Army, and then uh, we have uh, the police department, Woodland uh, uh, Police Department that is also doing fingerprints. We have all the service clubs. We have the Lions, we have the Kiwanis, we have the Rotaries, and then uh, local sponsors as well. Well, what and a great- And Great Clips doing haircuts. 
Very nice. A great event. I know we're going to be checking back in with you uh, pretty soon. It looks like, are they standing in line right now waiting for doors to open? Yes, they are. Okay, getting ready for that shopping spree. Well, thanks for talking with us, and we'll check back in with you in just a little bit. You're welcome. Well, uh, a great day, a little bit chilly out there, mm -hmm. so it's actually a good time to be picking out those sweaters and things yeah. you need to go back to school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pick up a couple long sleeves, uh, light jackets, a uh, great day overall. A little cool this morning, like you mentioned, you might need that jacket, but later this afternoon, it's going to be beautiful, Kristen, so very nice. go out there and enjoy it. Right now, things are on the cooler side as we take you outside from our sky cam. Sacramento looking great, 56 degrees, so it is a little cool out there. Like we mentioned, mostly sunny winds, very light out of the south around six miles an hour heading towards Stockton. Good morning to you. Temperature 59 degrees. We do have uh, mostly sunny skies here. Winds out of the northwest around eight miles an hour in Modesto, a touch milder at 60 degrees. Mostly sunny skies, winds very calm at the moment in Fairfield. Current temperature of 55 degrees, partly sunny skies. As you can see, the marine layer out in the distance there. Winds out of the southwest at 22 miles an hour in South Lake Tahoe. A cold start this morning, temperature of only 35 degrees. We have mostly sunny skies. Winds very light out of the southwest around 5 miles an hour. So things are running a little cool this morning, but we will warm up nicely later on this afternoon. Sunny skies, uh, temperatures in the 80s and 90s. So we're not going to be seeing any triple digit heat for today and it's not going to be for a while as well. Here on satellite radar, as you can see, we do have the marine layer in place. It's uh, thinner than it was yesterday. We have plenty of sunshine in the valley and a really nice looking Sunday as well. Here we go on Futurecast. As you can see, we still have this area of low pressure that's dominating our weather pattern, keeping that onshore flow going. So temperatures are going to be on the more comfortable side as we head into Sunday, even Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Wednesday, Tuesday could be the Tuesday and Wednesday could be the warmest uh, days of the week before we start to see even cooler temperatures by Thursday. If you are heading out to Folsom Lake today, water temperature 79 degrees, a lake level about a 409 feet. So just a great day to be out there in the Sierra. Very nice temperatures, lots of 80s here, 83 degrees in Quincy, 81 degrees in Truckee, 80 degrees in South Lake Tahoe. Winds will be light out of the southwest around 5 to 15 miles an hour in the foothills. A beautiful looking afternoon, plenty of sun temperatures in the low to upper 80s 84 degrees in grass valley a little cooler there 88 degrees in auburn 87 degrees in jackson sonora coming in at 89 degrees winds will be fairly light as well out in the bay area san francisco the cool spot 63 degrees those if you are heading out in this direction you will need the jacket for today 78 degrees in napa 81 degrees in fairfield and winds will be breezy throughout the afternoon and into the evening plenty of sun in the valley 80s and 90s 92 degrees in modesto 89 degrees in Sacramento and 90 degrees in Roseville. So a cool start this morning by lunchtime. 78 degrees, our high temperature. Once again, 89 degrees. Tomorrow, touch warmer, 90 degrees. 93 on Monday. Tuesday is going to be the warmest day, 95. And then cooler Wednesday and Thursday. Kristen? Great. Thanks, Lynn. And new this morning, saving someone's life could be as simple as giving blood. But as the summer heat turns up, the flow of donations start drying up. KCRA 3's Tony Vallier shows us how donors at Blood Source saved an Orange Vale girl's life and why your help is still needed. This is one of my favorite pictures. It's of the little campfire that we had. That Nine year old Lizzie Reinhardt can't help but smile when she looks at her summer camp photos from last year. It was the first time she could leave home without her mom worrying about her getting sick. She doesn't make an immune system, so she doesn't build antibodies to different viruses and bacteria. From the time Lizzie was eight months old, she started getting sick and often. All the time, I had to go to hospitals all the time and have medicine all the time. And it was really hard. <laughs> It was really scary because we didn't know what was going on, why she was getting so many infections. Being sick all the time kept Lizzie from leaving her home and led her mother to start homeschooling. It took seven years for doctors to figure out what was wrong and how to treat it. Lizzie gets a medicine that's called IVIG, and IVIG is made from hundreds, sometimes thousands, of individual blood donations. 
Lizzie gets infusions once a month, each one taking six hours to complete. So being on her in, uh, infusions, her IVIG, she is no longer on antibiotics hardly ever. She's able to go out, be with other kids, not worrying having to be sick. With her health in tune, she's now able to focus on being a kid. But this was one of my best, best friends from the cabin. And spending time with other kids. In Orangeville, Tony Valliere, KCRA 3 News. And if you're interested in being a donor, it takes about 45 minutes, and you can schedule an appointment online at bloodsource.org. Well, there's big fun ahead in Sacramento coming up. We'll see what they're serving up at the Big Brothers Big Sisters big event tonight, and we'll tell you how you can join in. Welcome back. Well, Big Brothers Big Sisters of Greater Sacramento is holding a big event tonight. It's a chance to learn more about what they do, donate to a great cause, and enjoy some fabulous food and drinks. And we have Stephen Leopold with Big Brothers Big Sisters here, along with Jerry James Stone, a chef, author, and food blogger, to tell us all about this big event tonight. I know you're going to be cooking up something for us. First of all, Stephen, tell us what uh, the big event is. Uh, so the big event is our largest fundraiser of the year, uh, where we bring out basically some of the finest chefs and restaurants in Sacramento, uh, wineries, breweries, and all the attendees get to come out and sample of you know, all these dishes and, and different beverages that we'll have on hand. And one of those things that people will be able to sample is the... This beet margarita. Yeah. Beet margarita. Tell us uh, what's involved in making a beet yeah. margarita. Yeah, so um, obviously I have some fresh beet juice here that I juiced this morning and some orange, some orange juice. And then I use a cilantro simple syrup, which kind of like just highlights the beets. Um, you know, it's, okay. it's great. So I'll start making it. Very good. Now, uh, tell me, Stephen, you were, we were just I talking during the break about uh, some of your needs at Big Brothers Big Sisters, and uh, people will be learning more about the organization today, but in particular, you need mentors. Uh, correct. So the, the whole mission of the organization is to pair um, young children and teens up with mentors and positive role models. Um, to, to help them in, in areas where they're usually lacking. These are, these are kids that come from homes where um, a parent is either just not there or perhaps incarcerated. Um, our biggest need has been for men um, to have male mentors. Uh, we actually have a waiting list of, of children that are waiting to be paired with a mentor. Um, most of them are, are boys. So. And I would imagine you don't have to go to the event tonight to be a mentor if you're interested in that. How, what's the commitment and what would somebody need to do? Um, the commitment is really, it's, it's not that, that great. Um, it's one weekend a month that they are meeting up with their, their little. Um, if they're interested, they can go to the, the Sacramento uh, Big Brothers Big Sisters website. Um, and they can sign up to, to register to become a mentor. Such a great and important organization and mission that you have. Totally. And, and the mentors actually, from, from the stories that I've been, been, been able to hear, uh, usually get as much or more out of it as, as the kids do. I would imagine. Very... I would imagine. So we have 30 seconds. How's it going with the it's beet great. margarita? It's great. We're just worth the shaking time. So I'm going to shake it up and then serve you guys some. Is this a recipe that you came up with yourself? It is actually. It's in my, uh, my first cookbook, which is just a uh, cocktail cookbook. So very I, nice. I really okay. wanted to showcase like seasonal ingredients. So uh, it's a, this is a great one for that. So. All right. Let's get Plus down. The color. You can't go it's beautiful. Color. Yeah. Now uh, we have some information about the event. Oh, that is beautiful. And you were saying tickets are close to sold out. So yes. if you want to go, you might want to call right away to get those tickets tonight, 6 to 10 p.m. at the Scottish Rite Masonic Center. That's in East Sacramento. Tickets are $100 and go towards a really great cause and again you don't have to go tonight to be involved with big brothers big sisters and they certainly need the help cheers oh, to you cheers. oh the <laughs> chef doesn't even get to partake well thank you make it for you thank you, guys. you both for being here and have a great event tonight i'll check this out in a minute still ahead in our next half hour they're warming up their shopping muscles we'll check back in with the salvation army hear more about the back to school shopping spree that's giving kids who really need it a leg up on learning but first a live look at Lake Tahoe, there it is. Probably a pretty chilly start this morning. You're watching KCRA 3 News. Stay with us.
KCRA 3 News starts right now. Good morning. It's 7.30 on this Saturday. I'm Kristen Samos here with meteorologist Lynn Trong. We were just mm -hmm. saying you don't think 80s in August, right? but I like it. Oh, yeah, I love it. I think a lot of people are going to just love this weekend. Very comfortable temperatures for today and tomorrow. And I think they're going to love the seven day as well. So no triple digits, no triple digit heat for this week. So that is the good news. Very good uh, news. Really nice start in Stockton. Good morning to you. We do have a little bit of haze out there, but plenty of sunshine later on this afternoon and temperature is very comfortable later today as we take you to Sacramento. Good morning. As you can see, we do have some haze as well as a little bit of low clouds out there, but plenty of sunshine is expected later on today as well as we take you to South Lake Tahoe. Just a beautiful start to the Saturday. Temperatures on the cold side, but it's going to warm up nicely into the 80s later today. As we take a look at the temperatures real quick, we have plenty of 50s in the valley. We'll touch milder in Modesto at 60 degrees, 66 in Auburn and 35 degrees in South Lake Tahoe right now. Wind speeds are generally light in the valley, but they will pick up later on this afternoon into the evening. Fairfield's going to remain on the breezy side throughout the day. So out the door this morning, 63 degrees by lunchtime. Very comfortable 82, 89 degrees will be our high today. And if you do have any evening plans, 84 degrees and a bit breezy. So overall, a really nice looking day. Our average, Kristen, is about 93. So we're going to be below average for today and tomorrow. So that's a good nice. news. Nice. I always think of those brave people who have outdoor parties or mm -hmm. weddings on yes. weekends in August. <laughs> this would be the perfect day perfect, to have one. Yeah, perfect weekend. Thank you, Lynn. Well, here's what we're following this Saturday morning. Today marks the first day of official Olympic competition in Rio. This after an opening ceremony that went off without a hitch. Coverage starts at 8 a.m. with rowing, cycling, and water polo, and you'll see it all only here on KCRA 3. Well, gold isn't the only thing that our athletes may be bringing home. State health officials are worried about the Zika virus. They say 80% of people infected show no symptoms, and they're advising people traveling to Zika zones to stay alert. And at least 10 people were injured after a collapse at a concert in New Jersey. Officials say a barrier separating fans from the stage gave way, causing people to fall onto the concrete several feet below. Well, a positive jobs report. Experts say it's a sign of confidence and a resilient U.S. economy amid sluggish growth. Plus stellar sales for a beloved wizard. CNBC's Seema Modi takes a look at the past week in the world of business. Job growth pops, billionaires speak out, and Harry Potter is back, all in the week that was. Unexpected strength in the labor market, the U.S. economy added over a quarter million jobs in July, well above expectations. The unemployment rate held steady at 4.9 percent as more people enter the workforce. Billionaires speak out against presidential candidate Donald Trump. Investing legend Warren Buffett questioned Trump's business success and challenged Trump to join him in revealing their tax returns, even though both are being audited. Fellow billionaire and Republican fundraiser Meg Whitman endorsed Hillary Clinton and urged fellow Republicans to raise money for the Democratic nominee. Trump continues to have the support of some other billionaires, including activist investor Carl Icahn and casino mogul Sheldon Adelson. Airline stocks got hit by a double whammy of weak revenues at Delta and a travel warning related to Zika spreading in a Miami neighborhood. And finally, the newest Harry Potter book is posting magical sales numbers. Harry Potter and the Cursed Child sold two million copies in two days just in the U.S. In Britain, it's on track for the second best week of book sales on record. I'm Seema Modi. Get all your business news on CNBC. And happening now, they're up early, getting ready to head back to school. And thanks to the Salvation Army, 75 local kids have some help this morning with all those backpacks, school supplies, and clothes that they're going to need to start the year off right. Guy Hawk, a major with the Salvation Army, joins us live from Woodland, checking back in with you. And it looks like you've got quite a crowd back there. Well, they are here. A lot of them are eating breakfast before they go in for their shopping spree and then come out pick up their school supplies. Now, uh, tell us again what all these kids will be doing out there this morning. Well, they'll come in and like I said, they have a breakfast here. The Lions Club is putting on a breakfast of pancakes and sausage and juice. And then they will line up and then they, a volunteer will take them into uh, Penny's and they will shop. Uh, they have $100 to go shopping for their school year. 
and then when they come out they pick up their supplies that they can cool. get an ear exam they can get a haircut and uh, be fingerprinted by the uh, Woodland uh, Police Department as well now tell me what you're hearing from people out there I would imagine obviously for the kids who wouldn't love a shopping spree but for the parents back to school time can be really expensive I would imagine they really appreciate this well they do it takes um, a little bit of burden off of them and uh, it's also exciting to see the kids uh, light up with uh, their new clothing. All right, and doors are opening there pretty soon. Oh, looks like a haircut going on. They're going to be all ready to start the year off right. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Have a great event. Well, thank you very much. Take care. You too. Coming up next, a taste of Butte County. Almendra Winery and Distillery is here to show us how it's expanding and how you can get in on the festivities. There they are. We'll check in with them next. Welcome back. The time now is 739 and we're taking a live look at the Olympic Cauldron in Rio de Janeiro as the quest for gold is officially underway this morning. This day one of competition in the 2016 Summer Games. And someone who knows all too well what it's like to stand atop a podium, swimmer Jeff Float, who competed in the 1984 Olympics for Team USA. KCRA 3's Lisa Gonzalez spoke with a gold medalist. Over the years, Arden Hills Club and Spa has produced dozens of Olympic athletes, including this man right here, 1984 gold medalist in swimming, Olympian Jeff Float. Thank you so much for joining us. Well, you're quite welcome. It's nice to come back to a home away from home from many years ago. And we were just talking about, you, he grew up in the Sacramento area, specifically the Arden Arcade area, went to Jesuit High School mm -hmm. and then on to USC. Quite a swimming career, but in this pool behind us here at Arden Hills, these two pools, how many years did you swim in them? Well, we started in 1957 when Debbie Meyer was doing her thing and they were kind of getting out of the pool and we were kind of in awe of what they were doing and mm -hmm. what Shrimp Shabur was doing. And he was uh, what you call the ultra long race pace, mm -hmm. distant uh, interval training and uh, I kind of calculated over a 17 year period uh, averaging about 10 miles a day roughly. Uh, about 40,000 miles plus plus. Oh my goodness, over there. you swam 40,000 miles in these pools. In, seven, in about 17 years, yeah. So from 7 years old to 24? To 24, uh huh. That is amazing. Pretty insane, huh? I, I know, I was a, a swimmer and I tell people it's it's kind of an interesting sport in that you have a lot of time to think. Yes, <laughs> uh, you spend uh, a lot you're of time singing, thinking. You're, singing, <laughs> you're making up songs and, and you're doing all kinds of yeah. fun things in your mind. And so right now you are the aquatic director at Gold River Racquet Club yes, in Sacramento. Mm -hmm. County, yes, and the head swim coach. What's it like and how is it different from the way you were coached to how you're coaching kids now? Yeah, like I mentioned, uh, Sherm was kind of an interval distance training of that era and uh, nowadays it's uh, ultra short race pace training where we're, we're part of the NorCal Sprint League and we incorporate a lot of the sprint training to as opposed to a lot of, you know, 500s and thousands of miles, it's more like 25, <laughs> 50, and 75, with a few hundred thrown in there. So it's more about race pace training Which instead is kinda, of just. It's fun, right? Out. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, a whole lot of fun. Uh, uh, I, I wish I knew what, what, what I know now uh -huh. uh, with that type of training. Yeah, and plus the rules are a little different for kids these days. Yeah, they've really changed a lot. You know, with the uh, brush stroke, now you're able to do a dolphin kick on your pull down. Well, that used to be considered cheating. Back I know, which I was a breaststroker. To me, I can't believe and, they get to do that. Yeah, and in a backstroke, you can turn over and do a freestyle turn and lots more dolphin kicking underwater, mm -hmm. whereas you could kind of push on the surface and, you know, so a lot's really changed and from the technical and the rule fast back too. And so we do have the, the IM coming up for men and women, the mm -hmm. 400 meter individual mm -hmm. uh, medley. What's the one piece of advice that you would give Olympians today? Well, uh, really, you got to make sure you get a not good night's sleep. You're not swimming at the 400 I am in your mind over and over and over <laughs> before you get to the race. Uh, otherwise, you'll be wiped out. But really, it's uh, just um, not changing too much uh, what you what got you there. Right. And uh, you know, being confident and believing in yourself. Olympian Jeff Float, thank you so much for joining us. We certainly appreciate it. Thanks right. for wearing your medals and Congrats. representing Team USA and the United States of America. Thank you so much. You're Back welcome. to you. 
Well, KCRA 3 is the only place to catch all the Olympic action tonight. Join Lisa Gonzalez at 7:30 for the Rio 2016 Olympic Zone show. Then at 8 o'clock, Olympic coverage resumes with men's gymnastics, swimming, and women's beach volleyball. Well, our own Deirdre Fitzpatrick is in Rio covering the games. You can look for her live reports on KCRA 3 throughout the Olympics. You can also follow her journey on our KCRA app. Just click on Deirdre's Diary and you can follow our weather right now with meteorologist Lynn Trong. She has an update for us. Good morning, Kristen. Good morning, everyone. Yeah, nice start to your Saturday. A cool start. So we are heading out this morning. Uh, right now it's a bit on the cool side. So grab that jacket. 56 degrees in Sacramento, mostly sunny with winds out of the south around six miles an hour in Stockton. Good morning to you. 59 degrees currently under mostly sunny skies. A little bit of haze out there as well. Winds very light out of the northwest around eight miles an hour. Great start in Modesto. 60 degrees already. As you can see, we do have some hazy uh, sunshine out there with winds out of the northwest around eight miles an hour in Fairfield. Partly sunny skies, 55 degrees winds out of the southwest at 22 miles an hour. It's going to stay a bit on the breezy side throughout the day as well. A cold start in South Lake Tahoe. Current temperature 35 degrees, mostly sunny. Winds very light out of the southwest around five miles an hour. So a cool morning, but we are expecting lots of sunshine and warm temperatures later on this afternoon. Temperatures mainly in the 80s and 90s for today. So it's going to be a very comfortable day. So hopefully you can go out there and enjoy it. Here on satellite radar, as you can see, we do have some marine layer out there along the coast. Uh, not as thick as it was yesterday. Lots of sunshine in the valley and sunshine will continue through the afternoon and into the early evening. Here we go on Futurecast, we still have this area of low pressure overhead and it's going to keep things on the comfortable side with that onshore push uh, continuing to dominate our region. This will be the case as we head through Sunday and Monday, but as we head into Tuesday, it's going to shift off to the east, allowing temperatures to warm up just a bit. So not expecting triple digit heat, but temperatures will be a little above average for this time of year. Our average is about 93. We're looking about 95 for Tuesday. For today, though, lots of 80s in the Sierra. A great day to be out and about there. 81 degrees in Truckee, 80 degrees in South Lake Tahoe, 83 degrees in Arnold, and winds will be light out of the southwest. A beautiful